G'day, Carla here again with Coffs Council's Living Lightly program. Now, do you want to start a new veggie garden, but you can't be bothered with all the bending over and digging or working with poor soil or weeds and grass? Well, I've got a trick for you, and that is let's start a no-dig garden. So no-dig gardens are a way of going up above the soil, and basically they're an in-situ compost bed in which you grow your veggies. It's made from alternating layers of organic material to provide that lovely, rich growing medium that your veggies will absolutely enjoy. So there's a couple of simple steps to starting a no-dig garden, and they can pretty much be done anywhere. That's why I love them. You can put them on, like I said, weedy ground or hard compacted soil, and you can even build them on concrete. They're great because we're not digging into the soil and disturbing that soil structure. And as they break down, not only do they provide a great growing medium, like I mentioned for your veggies, but they also improve and nourish the soil below them as well. So ways to do this are really simple. And let's start by getting your edging sorted. So edging can include anything you've got laying around the house, maybe some old bricks or some rocks or tree trunks or something like that, or branches, some recycled timber. I would stay away from treated timber or lead painted timber because you don't want those nasties in your garden. And then you've basically got to prepare the ground. So if you're doing it on concrete, I would just suggest maybe leaving some drainage gaps in that edging first of all, putting down a coarse layer of perhaps gravel or tree prunings to start off with. If you're starting on grass or weeds, you want to mow those down really low first, wet up the ground really well, and I would sprinkle some pelletized chook manure or something like that on the ground first. Then what you're going to do is layer some newspaper over each other. So you're going to overlap newspaper or cardboard. Newspaper's getting a bit hard to find these days, I agree. Okay, but you want it fairly thick, you want it overlapped, and you want to wet it down as you go. Then what you're going to do is just alternate layers of high nitrogen materials, so thin layers of high nitrogen materials, and that can include things like uh, fresh grass clippings, uh, vegetable scraps, green weeds, animal manures, chook pellets, even coffee grounds are great high nitrogen material to apply in those thin layers. You're going to alternate those then with thicker layers of high carbon materials. So that might be dried grass clippings, uh, leaves, wood chip, um, what have we got, hay, sugar cane mulch, all sorts of things like that as well. So we're just layering these up till we get to a good height. The top layer you want to be a nice thick layer of that carbon material and then you've got to choose whether you either want to put some growing medium on top of that you'll need about 10 centimeters of growing medium and that might just be I don't know some aged compost or some imported soil or something like that that you've got laying around or even better still I find you can just make little holes in that top carbon layer pop a bit of growing medium in there and put your seedlings in those holes as that compost or those layers of organic materials that you've built up over time start to break down, like I said, they'll just turn into rich and lovely compost, okay, and nourish your plants. Remember though that because it is a compost heap, essentially it will sink, so you might have to keep adding those layers as you go. Most importantly too is as you add each layer while you're building your no-dig garden, wet it down really, really well because basically it's high nitrogen materials breaking down carbon materials in the presence of good moisture, which makes a great compost. Compost, whether you're making your own compost in a compost bin or whether you're doing this no-dig garden. No-dig gardens or above-ground gardens are also a great way to give you better access without too much bending and they can keep out digging dogs and wayward soccer balls as well. So why wouldn't you give it a go? Enjoy! Oh, and I forgot to mention, don't forget to check out our resources online for the simple steps in building a no-dig garden.